my dear students so today we are going to start new topic okay that is supply formula so we are in the chapter number 5 i hope you know that we are in the chapter number 5 and we have already completed the determinants of supply okay or what are the factor that is responsible for affecting the supply of commodity so today here we are with a new topic that is supply formula so here you have also the supply formula so supply function is nothing it shows the functional relation between the quantity supply and its determinants okay it shows the functional relationship between quantity supply and its determinant or uh, we can define the supply function in another way also Okay, so this supply function, supply function we can define in this way also. It is the statement. Okay, supply function is a statement uh, which states the relationship between quantity supply and its determinant. Okay, it shows the relationship between quantity supply and its determinants. So, what are the determinants of supply? We have already done. So, determinants of supply are input prices, goods of the producers. price of the commodity taxes and policy of the government and so on so various factors are there okay various factors are there or various determinants are there that affects the supply of a commodity so now i will write the supply function in a simple form so we can use s a equals to function of okay so what is s a here s a means supply of a commodity supply of commodity in in may be 1 2 3 4 whatever may be the items okay that is supply of commodity a if okay if is your expression that shows the relationship okay if shows the relation which is an expression for showing the relationship between this supply and its determinants now i am coming towards its determinants So what are the different determinants? One is price of the commodity, that is P. Price of the commodity P. Okay. Similar input prices. Let's consider that input prices by I P. Input prices. Okay. Then goals of the producers. Let's consider that goals of the producers be Z. Okay. Then what are the all the determinants? All the determinants are price of related goods. Let's consider that one as P R price of related goods. Then uh, all the determinants are natural factors. Let's represent that natural factor by N. Okay. And the next determinants we have price of uh, expectations regarding future prices. Let's represent that expectations regarding the future prices is E P. Okay. E P. And So all the factors are also there. Transportation, mode of transportation, related represent by P and so on. So this functional relation, okay, the relationship between this quantity supply and its determinants are called supply function. Okay. So this is the symbolic expression. This can be considered as symbolic expression for. Supply function. I hope this concept is clear. S N represents supply of commodity. F shows the relationship 
between the determinants. So what are that P? And what if we do that? Below this we can write where where P represents represents the price price of the commodity. I P represents I P represents represents input prices input prices G represents G represents represents goals of the producers okay G represents goals of the producers P represents price of related goods N represents natural factor E P represents the uh, expectation price okay? regarding uh, expectations regarding the future prices and this T represents the transportation cost or mode of transportation so these all are the factors that affects the supply of a commodity so you can write here N, N represents represents natural factor natural factor and so on so these all are now if you go through your book you may uh, you may notice that the uh, uh, symbols used for the different factor it may vary but you can do one thing whatever the symbol you are using here you can mention where P represents price of commodity or this G represents goods of the producers or P represents price of related goods so either you can follow the uh, a symbol given in your book or you can follow my own also but here you have to write what it represents like how I can it represents it represents natural factor G represents goals of the producers I P represents input prices so in this way you can explain this supply function now I will move to the next part that is law of supply Law of supply. So in chapter number two, we have already done the law of demand. Now, uh, after explaining this law of supply, I will make comparison between the law of demand and law of supply. Then I will tell you what are the differences between these two. Okay. So this law of supply says that other things remain constant. Okay. Other things remain constant when price of commodity increases, quantity supply will also increase and when price decreases quantity supply will decrease okay so i will write it in the statement all the things things remain constant okay all the things remain constant you can write it when when price of commodity Increases comma the quantity supply quantity supply of will will also increase and and when and when price decreases. Decreases quantity supply quantity supply will also decrease. The meaning is in the case of this law of supply, there is direct relationship between the price and the quantity supply. So you can go to this statement. All the things remain constant. When price of property increases, what is the quantity supply?
supply will also increase. That means when price is increasing, your quality supply is also increasing. And next part, when price decreases, when price is decreasing, quantity supply will also decrease. Okay, so this is the statement of law of supply. The meaning is that when the price of the commodity increases, the producers will be willing to produce more and offer for sale more in the market. That means the supply will increase at a higher rate. But when price decreases, the producers will be willing to supply less in the market. Okay? That means when the price of commodity is increasing, this upward arrow shows increasing price. Okay? So when price of commodity increases, quantity supply will also increase. And if, if price of commodity decreases, when price decreases, quantity supply will also decrease. So you can see that both price and quantity supply is moving in the same direction. If price is increasing, if price is increasing, your quantity supply is also increasing. When price is decreasing, your quantity supply is also decreasing. But here, one important thing is mentioned here, all the things remaining constant. This is very important point. And here, you have to know the meaning of this, all the things remaining constant. So all the things remaining constant means all the determinants we are keeping it as a constant. We are not including the influence or the effect of all the factor at a same time. Here uh, we are showing only the relation between the price and the quantity supply. Okay. All the determinants like price of related goods, goals of the producers, input prices, taxation policy of the government. Natural factor, these all are keeping it as a constant because when we include the influence of all these factors at the same time, the law of supply may not be valid. Okay, so what we are doing here, we are keeping all the things remaining constant. What is that? All the things remaining constant, I will write it here in short form. All the things remaining constant means it may be input prices, input prices. Goals of the producers, price of related goods, related goods, taxation policy of the government, government. Natural factor, etc. So, like this, so many factors are there that we are keeping it as a constant. Okay. If we include the influence, as we tell you, if we include the influence of all these factors at the same time, okay, then what will happen? The law of supply may not be valid. So, in order to make it valid, we are keeping some of the factor as a constant. Like how you have started in class, you know. When you define Charles law and Boyle's law, what we keep? Sometimes we keep at a constant pressure or at a constant temperature, when we show the relationship between the other variables. Similarly, here also, when we show the relationship between this price and the quantity supply, we are keeping the influence of all these factors as a constant. That's why it's the other things remain constant. When price of commodity increases, the producers will be willing to supply more in the market. And when price decreases, the producers will be willing to supply less in the market. So this is all about the law of supply. I hope it is clear to you. Okay. Now next, next I am moving towards the supply schedule. Okay. Supply schedule. Sorry, before this starting supply schedule, 
I said I will show the comparison between this law of demand and law of supply. So first I will show you the relationship between the relationship between this law of demand and law of supply. Particular period of time. So, what is supply chain? It is a it is a tabular 